Hi everyone, it's John from Jesus Flicks. Today I'm reviewing His Only Son from Angel Studios. Angel Studios graciously provided me with a review copy of this film, and I thank them for that. And just want to remind you that my, even though they provided me with a review copy, my opinions are 100% my own. So what's His Only Son about? Well, it's about the story of Abraham taking Isaac to Mount Moriah to sacrifice him and God providing a substitute so that Abraham doesn't have to sacrifice his only son. Along this three-day journey, there are flashbacks that Abraham has about things in the past when he was originally called into the land, situations with Sodom and Gomorrah. There's conversations with his servants and slaves that while you don't see in the Bible, I think are true to the original narrative. This is a very somber and contemplative film. The actors are allowed to act. They don't tell you how they're feeling. They show you how they're feeling. Okay, so let's put the matrix up that we always go by when we're reviewing a film, and let's take a look at the story of this film. Well, the story is a classic one. We know the story from the Bible, and within it are weaved the other stories that we know about Abraham. I think the writer and director, David Helling, did a really good job of expanding what we see in the scripture while staying true to the themes and the text of the passage. For the most part, it's pretty much a straight telling of what happened, and the embellishments suit the film. So the characters, well, they're classic characters. Abraham, Isaac, Sarah, the servants of Abraham, Hagar, the midwife. These are all characters that we see in the Bible, we know in the Bible, and I think that they were well-written, and I think that they were portrayed well by the actors. So let's get into the execution. Normally I like to jump into the theme first before I talk about the execution, but I want to jump into that right now. This film was made on a $250,000 budget, and in Hollywood terms, that's like a day of shooting, right, for a lot of films. So I think that they did a great job with the budget that they had. I really like that Middle Eastern actors were used in the main roles, and I think it helped with the authenticity of the film. There's a little bit of CG in the film, and I think for the most part, if this were on television, it would be fine. I've, I've seen CG like this in movies. Uh, again, we have to consider the budget. They didn't have a multi-million dollar budget, so they had to use the CG resources that they had available to them. There's not a lot of CG in the movie, so when it is in there, sometimes it really stands out and you're able to really tell that there's CG in the movie. I'm going to tie in the themes to our audience and, and, and what's the main message of this movie. Well, it's faith, right? We have all been in situations where we look around us at our circumstances and we think to ourselves, why am I here, God? God, why is this happening to me? God, why do you want me to do this? And I think that's carried very well in this film. The actors are allowed to act. They're allowed to show emotion. Most of the time that Sarah is on screen, it's in these deep emotional situations. Um, Abraham's faith is kind of shown as very stoic, like this is what God wants us to do, and so we're going to do it. There are sparks of emotion at times, but for the most part, it's just, hey, God has called us to do it. And I think that oftentimes I find myself doing the same thing. I'm unemotional about things because if I let my emotions out, I feel like, oh, you know, I'm not going to be able to follow God through this trial that I'm going through right now. 
And so I just kind of flatly say, well, we're going to do what God wants us to do. There's a lot of that. There's also some very emotional scenes. One scene I particularly liked was after they had been called out of Ur and they were uh, in the land, Sarah, a- Abraham comes across Sarah praying to, her, to the old gods that they followed. And it's a very stirring scene, and Abraham says, well, we don't, we don't pray like this anymore. And I often think about that, about people who come to Christ out of other religious situations, following different gods. And what does it take for them to get out of these old habits of praying and this old thinking that they had? You're now following a loving God, a gracious God, a merciful God. So I think there's a lot in here for the believer to see. There's a scene at the end that uh, I think could have actually been left off. I understand that this is a movie that's coming out for Easter, but I honestly think that that extra scene was a little bit too much. I did think at times that the pacing of this was a little bit slow. It did add to the somberness of the film, but I think a little bit too much. I think it dragged it down just a little bit too much. Overall, this is an actor's film. Actors are allowed to act and show you what they're feeling, show you what the characters are feeling. And I think for the most part, everyone did a good job in this film. So it's out March 31st in theaters. You can get your tickets Uh, There's a link in the description below where you can buy tickets online and see if it is playing in a theater near you. It is coming out from Angel Studios, so eventually you'll be able to stream it. But for now, check it out. I think this would make a good Easter excursion for you and your family. I'm John. You've been watching Jesus Flicks, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.